Hi everyone, I'm Yvette Blowitz and I'm the founder of spiritgirl.com. So I wanted to share with you why I love visiting luxury day spas so much. So for me personally, it makes me feel so good that I wanted to share that with everyone else. So for me, I'm able to go to a luxury day spa and it's this complete utter place to escape, it's this oasis, it's paradise, it's heaven on earth, it's a spa at your dream, call it what you will. But it's just a place where I get to go where I can completely and utterly surrender and just be myself, let all my guards down. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to be anything. I can just completely be, be myself as I am and renew my spirit and just relax and unwind and let all that tension and all that stress go. So life is so busy now and I don't think we have either have enough time or it might not be that we don't have enough time, but the way we live these days is nothing is really geared for relaxation unless you're obviously practicing yoga and, and meditation. Really, you know, we can be watching TV and we can be on our iPhones and, you know, checking our news feeds or Instagram. So we're always doing, 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 doing. And when you get to go, to a luxury day spa, it's all about disconnecting, disengaging, it's about coming back to yourself, letting go of everything and just focusing on self-love and self-care and kindness and being gentle on yourself and just having a place where you can relax and you can just be yourself and you can let go and you don't have to be superwoman or wonder woman and you don't have to do everything. This is a place where you can just be. Just soak up the divinity, the, the love, the receive the love and feel the love and the benefits that come from, you know, sitting in a hot warm spa bath and listening to the bubbles go and your eyes are closed is just absolutely beautiful and you know the whole experience of having a, a nice robe on with slippers and listening to beautiful relaxing music and when you walk into a day spa and especially a luxury day spa it's so pretty and it's so girly but it's just so beautiful it was like designed for us spa girls it was created for us but it's just so beautiful to know like you can be in the busiest city in Australia or you can be on a tropical island, but you can let go. You can just let go of the stress, let go of your busy schedule, let go of the tension within your body. You can feel whole again because when you have a spa treatment, it works on so many different levels. You're working your physical, your emotional, your mental and spiritual. So it is very similar in some aspects to yoga because it's your body, your mind and spirit and you're becoming one. So you're focusing on your breath, you're releasing. You know, it's a really great way as well to check in with your mind because Sometimes you might get onto the spa treatment table if you're having a relaxation massage and your therapist might start and everything's great, but you just can't relax because you're so stressed and your mind's so busy and, you know, it could take you a good while to unwind. So I always recommend to everyone, if you're feeling really strung out and really stressed, go for a little bit longer treatment. Um, you know, have a couple of hours at the day spa if you're on holidays. I personally never stay at a hotel or a resort when I'm on holidays unless they have a day spa on site. It's just visiting day spas is something I love to do. It's something I do to help with my own health and wellness. And I've been visiting spas for a really long time now and I just have seen 
the transformations within myself and I can go from completely stressed out, strung out to just coming out at the other end, feeling like a whole brand new person again, feeling like myself, feeling really relaxed and like nothing is on top of me. And the health and wellness benefits I receive far outweigh, you know, the beauty aspects Sure, it's great to have clean glowing skin and it's fantastic, you know, if you have a nice mud rack or a body scrub, but there is just so many more aspects that's going on when you receive spa therapy that it truly is, I believe, one of the best ways to relax and the best ways to love yourself and care for yourself and I absolutely recommend anyone, whether you're a spirit boy or a spirit girl, to go and experience a really beautiful day spa. And don't see it as vanity, don't see it as, you know, a luxury. See it as a way where you can just have time out for yourself, reconnect with yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself. And the other thing I really love about being a spirit girl and about visiting spas and is that it doesn't matter what age you are it doesn't matter what size you are what shape you are anyone can benefit from visiting a spa and that's what I love most about it because it's all about the feeling it's about how do you feel do you feel well and do you feel good? Do you feel whole? Do you feel centered? Do you feel at peace? Do you feel calm? And it's the feeling. And I wanted to create the whole Spirit Girl blog and the whole Spirit Girl site around feeling and to do away with the physical aspects because for me personally, I live my life in a very spiritual way and that is what I've always wanted to do because I know all too well that money brings suffering and it brings suffering to so many people. So I obviously wanted to live my dream which was to do spa writing and spa reviewing and then it evolved to helping others just to feel good through yoga and healthy eating and walking and meditating and just being positive and things like this. But I never wanted the Spirit Girl site to be about making money from my readers or I never created it to even make money because I just wanted to follow my passion, my love, my dream, which was to write about day spas, visit day spas, review day spas, and just really promote and connect with everyday people that visiting a luxury day spa or a day spa or a spa, call it what you wish, is all about feeling good and it's a place where you can go and it can be so beneficial for your health and your spirit, your mind, your body, that that is what I wanted to share, is all about feeling good. So I've been fortunate when I was in my early 20s straight out of high school actually to be a fitness instructor and to be a PT and to teach aerobics so for about 12 years I personally was running around you know working full-time job in the office and then I'd teach a class you know every Monday morning at 6 a.m. so I'd have to be out the door by five and sometimes I'd teach lunchtime class some nights it was two back-to-back -back classes like it could be a, a barbell class at the time or a body pump class and then a body, um, you know, boxing class or whatever it might be. And I was cramming in about six classes per week and I did that for about 12 years as well as a full-time job. And then I was still doing PT on top of that. And I have to just say, because I really wanted to share this today because when I was in my early 20s, I could eat what I wanted, drink what I want. Um, I could teach as many classes, I could work full time and I could do it all. And then I got to a point where I got really sick of my routine and it was same, same and I needed to get off the train. So 
I needed a break. You know, I thought, I've been taking classes for so long. I just want to now just like not have to get up at 5 a.m. and not have to learn choreography and not have to motivate everyone in the class. I just completely utterly need to time out. So I did that and I went traveling and I went to London, which is a really great experience. But as you can imagine, London's very geared up for Aussies coming and Kiwis coming and you eat a lot and you drink a lot and you don't exercise a lot because it's quite cold. So I found that it was really probably easy for me to put weight on and I managed to lose a bit of that weight when I went to Spain traveling. Then I eventually got back to Australia and that was all going really well. And weight and stuff like that wasn't an issue. I was keeping fairly fit, eating really well. But then I went through this really hard time in my life and it was like I ended up putting on 25 kilos. So I just went through a really hard time. Everything went pear-shaped. My way of coping at the time wasn't through exercise and it wasn't through healthy eating. It was through emotional eating and if I emotionally ate loads of chocolate, Cadbury, sandwich size blocks, it would make me feel better. So, but as you can imagine, I ended up putting on 25 kilos and I got to this point where I was really concerned about my health and I wasn't feeling great. And I went and saw the doctor and he said to me, Yvette, you can't keep going like this. You, you know, you're at risk of heart disease and you really need to start losing some weight. You probably need to lose about 10 kilos. So I, from that moment, thought, you know what? I'm in my 30s, mid-30s, and I really need to take good care of my health. And I couldn't help think, how, that, how did this happen? I was a PT, aerobics instructor, and I used to be the one motivating everyone. And... But you know what, I have to say, I am truly grateful for what it's worth for putting all that weight on, for putting 25 kilos on or more. Because when I was in my 20s and I was teaching aerobics and taking classes and being a PT, I had no idea how hard it is to exercise when you're carrying extra weight and just how hard it is to do some of the moves. And I never truly understood what it was like to struggle with weight and putting on weight and losing weight. I had no idea I was genetically had a high metabolism. I was teaching classes, you know, I was, I had no idea. And through putting on weight and through the struggle of weight loss, I have grown and just developed to be such a better person for it. And I now like understand and I can resonate with people who have put on weight or trying to lose weight or struggling with weight. And I mean, I'm a better person for it and I will be far better, you know, PT, yoga instructor, yoga teacher, aerobics teacher, call it what you wish, wellness writer, fitness writer, spa review, whatever it might be. But through my own experiences, through my own struggle, I can now relate to pretty much most of society who, you know, is either trying to lose weight or trying to keep off weight. And it's not that my weight loss wasn't driven around vanity and nothing was driven around I had to be a size 8 it was all about I had to have good health because without that you have nothing and when you're told at a young age that you're at risk of heart disease or you know other health concerns for me now, exercising isn't for weight loss, exercise is for health, exercise is for feeling good. I make sure I make the right choices as best as I can. I try my best and this is what I think Spa Root Girls are all about, is we just try our best. We're not perfect. It doesn't matter if we have a six pack or not. 
all that really matters is that we're trying to do our best. So when we have the energy, we're trying to go for a walk or we're trying to do a yoga class or we're trying to do a Zumba class or we're riding our bikes, we're swimming, you know, we're choosing to try and get organized to cook really well or to have fruit or to, you know, carry lots of water around. You know, we're choosing to look at ourselves in the mirror and accepting, oh, right now I've got, you know, lumps and hips and, and that's okay because, you know, you don't want to get obsessive and, and controlling about, you know, you can't eat this, you can't eat that and for that to take over your whole life because you still need to live and there still has to be balance and um, it's just about finding the balance and trying your best. And look, I can tell you I did not lose 25 kilos like that. And I can tell you it wasn't easy, but through yoga and breathing and meditating, becoming really spiritually, you know, in tune with myself and at peace and practicing the yoga as well as the walking, that really for me made the biggest difference and that really was what helped me lose so much weight so you'll get to see that i post a lot of photos of yoga um but for me it's been just such a important part of my life and it is my life and it's who i am now i'm really dedicated yoga girl and i love getting other people into yoga because it's so beneficial for your body, mind, and spirit. And I think, for me, I know that I can do yoga as I grow older, and it's gonna keep me really, you know, young at heart, flexible, feeling good. And I just think the whole yogi community is so beautiful and so loving. So I really love doing yoga, and it's part of my life. And if I go a few days without yoga, I feel absolutely, not good at all. So it really does make a difference to how I feel. So on that note, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I just really wanted to share with you a couple of, you know, heart to heart things that I love to do as the founder of Spirit Girl, obviously visiting luxury day spas, yoga, meditating, eating as well as I can. And I'm absolutely loving at the moment receiving emails and messages from the Spirit Girls or even Spirit Boys just about, you know, things that you've been experiencing, things that are happening in your life. And it's really nice for me just to be connected. And I love that I never turned the Spirit Girl site into this commercial business side of things like I never wanted to be in competition with a magazine because I don't really strive for that and I mean that in such a nice way because I mean like I don't want to encourage my readers that they have to be skinny and no offense to anyone who is skinny but I'm not saying that for you to be accepted you need to be a size six or you know a size eight I think for you to be accepted, you just have to be yourself. So that is why the Spirit Girl remains without flashing ads because I want it to be about you. I want it to be about your health, your wellness, and I don't want to make money from you. And I want to be a spiritual being and I want to give more than I get. And that's just something I choose to do that's who I am. I'd rather give more than I get. And you know, what I get back in love and abundance is just phenomenal. And it far outweighs any money that I could ever receive. So on that note, everyone, bye for now. And if you've got any further questions, just send me an email and then I'll try and talk about it openly and a little spirit girl heart to heart. Take care, love and light. Bye.